<laughs> all right. 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 Ah, uh, idiots, yeah. idiots, idiots, and welcome back to the Sketchbook Heroes podcast with me, Elias, and <laughs> me, Robert, <laughs> dragging everything out to make time for thinking, thinking, <laughs> thinking. <laughs> this is the awesome episode 191, where we're going to be talking about, what was it, Robert? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I can go my way. More or less. Uh, but work-related, future stuff. What what did I write? <laughs> I don't remember. God damn it. Like how He to... will check his phone. <laughs> Go, Lenny. Work life on your terms. Yeah, work life, yo. Work life. Work life. It's a working life, life for, for us. us. Gotta make some good choices. Everything we just said. But with cocaine instead, <laughs> it's a hard <laughs> knock life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I miss you, yeah. Bakadish. <laughs> <laughs> Please save this. <laughs> Train wreck. Fantastic. But, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Something, something smart. I was going to. Yeah, yeah. That sounded like a song again. <laughs> it would Just never end. Singing. It would never end. <laughs> Just keep. Singing. Let us recap the recap of the song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. dude, how have you been? You've been at a working at a convention. I have. I actually. Cool. Just came from the convention, more yes. or less. So I am uh, super duper not tired today. Uh, in opposite land. <laughs> cool. Very so cool. I am. I'm totally dead. Where our listeners live. <laughs> yes. No, but I was in uh, Norrköping. If uh, you are from Sweden. Yeah, and if you're not, it's called Norrköping. Norrköping. Coping. Coping. Yeah, coping. That's true. Not coping. Not coping. Not coping. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, this year's first convention, which was really nice. Uh, the next one is in June. So uh, I am already dreading it. <laughs> Jesus, but that's it like was next month. Um, yeah, yeah, kind of basically. But uh, no, it was good. So it was uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then we stayed over Sunday to Monday, which is today, just to kind of sleep in a little bit instead of rushing home and like having to unpack everything. Uh, but it was a good convention, and that kind of gave me the idea for this episode uh, because mm-hmm. of the tempo I had at the convention, which I will dive into later. Mm-hmm. Uh, but apart from that, it's been a pretty decent week, like not overworked, but still catching up a little bit with last week's mm-hmm. or the week, week, the sick week, let's call it that way. Um, uh, yeah, how do you feel like physically? Like, is it good? I'm still like, exhausted. Okay, I am. I don't feel like I'm like COVID exhausted. It just feels like very tired, but it might be because of that. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, we'll see. Um, um, I'm trying not to to go to the gym or anything, you know, not yeah, to yeah, overdo yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stay in the couch, you know, chill out, watch a couple of movies, uh, you know. Yeah, not, we, don't, we don't want you to. <laughs> <laughs> Exert yourself as you normally do. <laughs> exactly. I don't. Yeah. You know. Sometimes you have to break routine, Elias. Yes, you know, of course. Yeah, yes, I yeah, understand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, everything is uh, pretty fucking good. I, I must say. Cool. Uh, how have you been? How was this week for you? Shit. Yeah, I've been working. <laughs> that was uh, a good uh, answer. No, no, no. But Shit. but but it kind of also <laughs> goes in with this thing we're going to talk about mm-hmm. a lot. So. I don't really have anything to say. I've been working a lot, but yeah. not in the sense, uh, like with that, that work life thing, Majiggy. So maybe so elaborating that uh, in, in the episode. In yeah. So I have nothing to say except that I've caught up on Moon Knight and I've worked awesome. and hung out with the family a lot. Nice. Any new tools for this? Episode? I thought I, w- I was going to have one, but. There can be only one. There can be only one, but I don't have the one. There is no one. <laughs> I'm getting it tomorrow. So the uh, YouTube okay. will have to sadly wait until next week. No, but that's good because then you might even be able to test it out a little bit. Maybe if work will let me. <laughs> uh, on your terms. On my terms. <laughs> <laughs> no, but say. this is actually all on my terms, and that's actually the topic is perfect. So. Yeah, cool. 
Uh, we'll see how uh, how long yeah, Will this Smith, one is. How that goes and <laughs> why? <laughs> why? <laughs> That's not PC anymore, man. No, it's. <laughs> Hoppa! Hey. And with that said, uh, thank you guys so much for listening. <laughs> always, always. And exactly. thank you, uh, the underwork. And uh, thank you, Ilias, for for having me. Yeah, here. welcome uh, to my podcast. It's so <laughs> great to have you here. <laughs> I am so so like Robert, tired. 1. <laughs> yeah, one point two. That's that's a uh, small update. <laughs> <laughs> Please intro. Just let me sleep. Right yes. Uh, rate the podcast everywhere. Share it with your friends. Share dun, it with dun, people dun, that dun, you dun, hate. Dun, 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 dun. It's almost a better thing. Thank you. Shoo-hoo. <laughs> Shoo-hoo. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Artists of the world unite. Step out of your comfort zone into the danger zone. God damn it. That was for Robert. Yeah. Awesome intro. Woo. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> something, something. We're back. Something, something. Back. Yeah. Um, all right. So, like, I'm just going to I'm just gonna go. I'm yeah. Just gonna go. I think you should go. Because, I mean, leave. Um, yeah. And then I can I, talk, I like, because uh, I know you all come here to listen to me. All y'all. All y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you all come. <laughs> to listen <laughs> to me. Uh, no, but dude, take yeah. it away. I think you started this, so. Yeah. So, so um, this all came about because of the, the new way I handled this uh, tattoo convention. Normally, when I go to a tattoo convention, you know, I think the, the normal thing for most tattoo artists is to go there to make money. Mm. And you work your ass off and you, you do make quite a bit of money. And it's kind of like... <laughs> You should. You don't really talk about it, but it's kind of tax free because it's kind of in a gray zone ish. Is it? Is it really? <laughs> because it's like selling merch at a convention. Yeah. I, uh, I if you, you want, you can definitely pay tax yeah, how, for how it. How the fuck? How is? Uh, how is tattoo art classified? Is it classified just like giving prints away, or is it classified as original art? It's like, not original art because it's a service we provide to uh, a person. So course, it is a twenty five percent instead yeah, okay, of okay, okay, goddammit. Twenty five percent is the normal taxation yeah, for in in, in less with. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. But yeah. uh, but with the convention it's normally just money straight into your pocket, which is really great. Uh, so it's more I guess you you pay tax or the the convention pays taxes for having the convention and we pay them money. So I like the tax man gets money from the convention. So that's why I guess that's the gray zone. And this I, is just I, me. Yeah, I don't think that's a thing. I don't think that's a thing. Yeah, probably but not. I do get it. But I do get because yeah. it's the same thing with Comic Con. If you sell stuff, you have to tax them. Even though you paid for the convention, yeah. So I'm guessing, and everybody does that. Of yes, course. everybody yeah. does that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was g- g- leading Getting up to. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, of yeah. And everybody uh, takes yeah. care of their taxes. But, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so so normally, just to give you guys some numbers, I I would work. It's a normally a three day convention, and I would make roughly like three thousand bucks or thirty thousand crowns. But I also work like a maniac. Uh, not really thinking about the quality of tattoos so much as just giving people the easy stuff that they want. Mm. But now, because I'm older and wiser and grayer and all of this, uh, I was pointing at my beard. Uh, I great part. <laughs> I like it. I am. Um, I don't want to stress anymore. I just want to do like semi good work. It's really mm. difficult to do really perfect stuff at a convention. It's always going to be a little bit shaky and all of this. But taking my time with everything that I do, plus this year we had to uh, 
work with the new colors that so it was the first time for me Shit. using the the other colors and they're a little bit a little bit trickier to work with than I'm used to so it just took like a little bit longer to get the color in and stuff but uh, so what I did this uh, this convention was I did one tattoo and then when that one was finished I booked in the next one and then when that was finished if I had time I would take a neck you know another one normally on I, list, yeah, yeah exactly normally I would just write everybody that wanted a tattoo down on a list and I would just contact them immediately or even have like an assistant contact them like oh he's done in 10 minutes so if you can get down here you know we can keep this train going mm -hmm. But now it's just like really smooth, uh, you know, go with the flow type of work. So it was really, really nice. And then like, even though I worked on my own terms, I still like didn't have time to go eat or do anything yeah, yeah, like that because I was constantly working. So I still made money uh, around half of what I normally make. So I walked away with 15,000 Swedish crowns instead of 30. But I'm not burnt out the way we were after like Comic Con and October and <laughs> Whatever all. Whatever you, know. you mean? Yeah. What? We were um, good. But that just made me realize that well, because I chose to work this way, I feel so much better. And why don't I do that with everything in life? And why don't we all do that? And what is the perfect work-life balance and mm. all of this? So it just made me think of well, maybe we should just talk a little bit about that. Mm. And uh, yeah, that was the idea of uh, the episode. So there you go. Uh, Elias, take it away. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I've said it a million times now, but I'm working on a lot of things at the same time. And the cool thing is that I am so calm mm. and it, the workload doesn't feel too big. And I'm having time to spend with my family, which I didn't before. I was like, oh, well, you guys go do something and I'll just work. And now I feel like. Sorry. Oof. Bubbles. bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> Gut bubbles this time. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, I've been able to hang out with my family. Uh, on Saturdays, I coach my son's basketball team. On and then we do taekwondo, or he does taekwondo, and I do the gym thing at the taekwondo class. And then you know we hang out for a bit, and then everyone's tired of everyone. Uh, and then I start doing freelance, and then we we eat dinner together, and then you know, either we watch something together, or everybody just wants to you know play with their friends or play Fortnite or whatever the fuck. Uh, so either my wife and I'll do something, and if we don't, then I'll work again. Mm. And I try to, and I've told my clients right now, like, I don't have a lot of time. Like, I need to prioritize my full-time job because that's the one that I need to keep to survive. So, yeah. and everyone's like, oh, yeah, we're all fine with that. These projects don't have, like, a hard deadline. So you just work on stuff and then just send it to us when you have it. Yeah, Just give us a few updates every now and then. And I've been able to kind of just have these. I've had about three gigs at a time. I mean, that's and pretty, just that. And that's outside is, my normal job exactly. and everything else. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But I've, I don't know, like it's been, it's been in a way that feels manageable. And it, like I ha I've had no stress about it. And, and when we talked to Karin last time, when we talked about, like, working as creatives and, like, what do we want to do and stuff, we just talked about <laughs> uh, just to be creative. I, would, I just want to create stuff. Yeah. And now with the, the amount of work that I've had and the, I guess, success mm -hmm. uh, in a way for my own little business is that I'm going to get, what is it, like, a, a million, if I can get a million in Swedish crowns, in my uh, in it's my like own a, company, a hundred k, I guess. Yeah, a hundred k ish. Th then I could probably, you know, I don't know what chance lit it is in English, like, but like leave, leave. Yeah, yeah. like unpaid leave, I guess is yeah. what it's called. Just taking uh, time yeah. off, like yeah. yeah, exactly, unpaid leave, and then just try to keep doing the freelance stuff without the full, nine to five full stuff. time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And just see where I can take that. Because then I could, if I get like a Swedish million in my account or 100K, I can survive for two years. Yeah. 
ish. <laughs> uh, so I'm thinking if I can get that with the way that I'm working now and the amount that I'm working now, it feels almost worth, you know, like like I'm so motivated. So right now I'm I'm getting some of that business money and I'm putting it into buying my own office or like, you know, buying my own office, my own office gear, like yep, a computer, yep. camera, all the stuff that I'm going to need. Mm-hmm. And then, because once I go on unpaid leave, I have to give all the work stuff back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I need all that kind of taken care of. Uh, but I'm just thinking that I'm going to just try it, just see what happens, you know, like, and this, this has been like the first time in a long while where I've had like a plan. Mm-hmm. And it feels like, okay, I'll get the money and then I'll ask for leave. Yeah. Not no stress. A, no stress. Yeah. And and right now I'm doing so much. Yeah. And this week as well, like I've worked out every day. It's, like that never happens. Yeah. That never happens. There's usually <laughs> one, two days off where I just get forced to not train. Yeah. Uh, but this week, the past week, just like I've worked out every day. And this was the first day that I haven't done anything. Nice. So it's really nice. Yeah. Uh, But I've been really, really busy. I'm like trying to balance all these things and it's just working. And I don't know if it is like the amount of times I've burned out that have taught me to like, you know, subconsciously set it up better. Yeah. I don't know. Or maybe it's just the fact that I've told people that I'm going to work with that. This is my working situation. Yeah. Beyond this, I can't help you. Like all cards are on the table. Yeah. There's no like trying to like, oh, I'm going to yeah. sacrifice this or that. It's just None like, of that. you know, Cause I, I don't them. have time to like do this more than I can. Yes. Know? That's what I told them about this one US gig that I have. I was like, like I really, I want to help. Sounds fun. It's like a D and D thing. Oh, cool! But I don't have time. Like, yeah, yeah. And they were like, "Okay, that's cool." But if you change your mind, we're here. And then, like, just checking in, you know, like a month, two later. Like, how does it feel? Like, do you have some time? And I was like, I really don't. But send me what you got, and I'll just take a look at the workload. Mm-hmm. And now it's come down to like, oh, can you do like five backgrounds for us? And I was like, let me try to do one just like for me. Mm -hmm. Like this is free of charge for you. I'll just like see if I can get into this headspace. Yeah. Because it's really hard when you're doing a lot of things to add a thing. Oh, yeah. And I just tried it and it just like I got the first one out and I was like, yeah, that actually works. And they were satisfied. So I was just like, okay, I'll just do them in this type of style. Mm -hmm. And it'll be, you know, it won't be fast, fast, but it won't be slow either. Like I can get like a decent amount of quality into it with the time that I do have because it's just been like okay the kids are doing their thing I'll just gonna do the sketch yeah and then I got the sketch and then I played with the kids we did something we went for ice cream then we got home they were watching something that we don't like enjoy me and my wife so I just started drawing again and then you know I've just managed to squeeze it in here and there without it affecting private life Or the weekends, yeah. you know. So it's or been sleep. Re- or, or sleep. Because mm-hmm. uh, that's, I think, the most important. Dude, I've been sleeping. Like, except yesterday or the day before, because I just had too much caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> But <laughs> other than that, I've been actually sleeping. And nice. it feels so good. Yeah. I hate sleeping too much. Like, I've, I've realized that over this weekend as well. Like, I get so mushy. But you from... only do that in the beginning. Like, once yeah. you've slept well for weeks, like, you it, just feel you, better. You feel better. Yeah. yeah. It's no. the, the initial phase mm. where you sleep eight hours and you feel like you've been fucking run over twice. I, I looked it, too. Yeah. <laughs> My Same. face was so swollen. But it was also because Swolbert. of, like... The, the Friday, just packing everything, going mm. to the convention, trying to That's set it up. That's what I don't and, like, and the packing rig- shit. Yeah. Rigging up everything and, you know, all those, the lights are, and, you know, there's a lot of work and stress that goes into, you know, rigging or setting up a convention booth. And, uh, and then just the whole, the stress yeah. of like, will there be any people? Am I going to get to work at all? Am I going to make like the money back that I spent on the convention? Like all that stress. So, uh, and then of course, meeting everybody, which is like the best part of mm-hmm. a convention, 
we're such a tight group of people now that, that always do the same convention. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like See. a family reunion in a way. And you, and I guess you can help each other out as yeah. well. If yeah, it's yeah, yeah, something. Exactly. Yeah. So I had um, uh, Jacob, one of my friends, send over like you know he was working and he was yeah. like, oh, go to Rob. Like he would love doing something like this, mm-hmm. uh, and send people over and we do the same. Like oh, that's perfect for him. Go. Like maybe check if he has time, mm. and and that's how it works. Like that's awesome, and, and it's such a great harmony of these very open-minded, friendly tattoo artists instead mm. of you know the assholes that you normally meet. Uh, but it's a smaller venue now, it right? Is, as well, it is. Right? So and you get more familiar. Yeah, and um, that, it was really, really great. It really did feel like, and you know. A class reunion, but just with the best of friends, because mm-hmm. <laughs> you just walk in and then you hear people from all over the place, like "Hey, Rob!" You know, that's fun. That's you, really, really fun. And I think that for me is so important. Just feeling like I actually am a part of this community, mm-hmm. because I always do feel like you know the way I work is a little bit unconventional from the normal tattooing way. I, I have my like way of working and I Mm -hmm. always feel like I am you know the imposter and like I shouldn't be here what the fuck but then like getting the recognition from your peers and really getting Mm -hmm. that pat on the back like dude that's fucking awesome and you just you know you get so recharged from doing something like this but then of course you spend all that dude you spend it all (laughs) right back oh yeah but yeah so it's it's like like a casino of like energy yeah plus minus (laughs) zero there you go (laughs) account drained again Uh, again but it was really, really great. Like this, uh, I feel like it was the perfect start of the whole convention train mm-hmm. that I am have jumped on now. So we'll see how the next one is. It's a little bit shorter, so it's only two days. Is uh, it bigger, smaller? It's it's more well known, I guess, or like it. Which one is this? Is this Ink Bash? No, Ink Bash is in is... August. Oh shit, that's later. So that's going to be doing the that third one, as one. Well? Yeah, yeah, that's the third one. And then so that's just before baby comes, and then oh, after my baby. God. We're doing uh, a comic con. So, yeah, it'll be very interesting indeed. Actually, Ink Bash, I might not be able to do Ink Bash because of Baby. Yeah, Baby. So, Baby is... Uh, might be babying out. 4th of September is the yeah. the due date. So uh, and, and Ink you Bash know, is pretty late, right? Ink Bash is the last weekend of August. There so, you, uh, you know, the baby could just decide to come out two weeks ahead of time and then mm-hmm. I am fucked. So, yeah, hopefully I'm not giving money away, but uh, <laughs> we'll How see. much does it, like, that cost, like, the convention? The normal price the... around 400 bucks. Oh, okay, okay. Like 4,000 okay, Swedish yeah. crowns for, for a chair. Mm-hmm. Uh, and some conventions, like, I actually need to double check this next one if we have one spot or two seats. Uh, because normally they try to get as many different artists in as possible. And if you are from the same... Studio, studio, you you, you one. share one chair, so you need to really and that, like that is very stressful because you need mm. to plan everything. So if I start working, I need to tell you or whoever I'm working, working with, with yeah. I'll be done in three hours, and I need to be done in three hours because they've booked in. They've booked in someone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so they're gonna no. be standing there just looking at me and waiting. So it's so stressful. Um, yeah, you want to work with someone you know well. Right? Yes, yeah. yes, and. And and that's the good thing about me and Malin, mm-hmm. who, who I am working with now, that we have, like, she knows how I work and I know how she works. So she's super duper fast. So she could do two of one that I do. Like, oh, she's, fuck. and I she's, it's so tight and it's so perfect. You know, I, I hate, hate it. people. Yeah, I hate yeah. people like that. <laughs> it's just like, I, I don't understand how she does it. I try yeah, to work faster. Same. And it just doesn't work. That's not like, and and that's what I mean again. It's like, try not to get affected by that and it Mm. is on your terms like you have people come to you for your work not because of like how your colleague works so let all that go and do your thing and just like don't stress it Mm. and especially if you are working with tattoos it is like it needs to take time it's not something that you do in five minutes it needs to take the time it needs to take like And that's something like I need to keep telling myself this, mm-hmm. which is why I am rambling on about it. 
But, uh, you know, the older I get and the longer I've been in the business, the easier it is to really understand it and mm. get into that. And now I, after this convention, I really feel like I've embodied that thought now and it feels great. Mm -hmm. And also the um, just having people because there was a lot of people that didn't have time to, to book in on the convention and they booked time in the studio. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, you know, it's so, so gratifying when you're like, you have a whole sea of amazing artists here. Why are you choosing me? Like how I'm not more special than like Malin or the other guy or the other guy. Mm -hmm. Like what makes me special, I guess, is that I am a geek and I geek out. And then I wear a, a white shirt and tie when I work at a convention. And that, I, I guess, makes people think that I'm better than I am. Which is why I keep wearing the that. Extravagant, <laughs> yeah, the extravagant tattoo artist. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, but I had a lot of people actually say that, well, you know, they walk around and they try to communicate with other artists. Oh, and yeah, they dude. just feel like they it's feel hard. like they're uh, disturbing them or they don't want to be a bother. Like mm. they look a little bit dangerous or scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just have this friendly look, so they really just feel comfortable coming and talking yeah. to me. If and it's... also, you might do the thing we did at the uh, like Comic Con, where you're like, "Hey, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah," you're acknowledging their existence, basically. If I have time, I yeah, will. I will definitely be I mean. that. And I actually, I'm I'm the guy that feels guilty if I'm sitting working and I have my back out towards people, yeah. I can't see people. I feel guilty, like I'm probably yeah. dissing people now, and I'm like. I have to always look over my shoulder and like, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't, like, I can't. Plus, you can't hear shit at a convention. or, But um, yeah, just so many things during this convention that I realized sort of gave me back my, my gusto mm -hmm. for mojo, uh, my baby. mojo. Yeah, like really understanding that I am, like, I am a, a decent artist doing cool stuff that people appreciate. And the, that feeling, I think, everybody should feel i know it's going to be gone tomorrow but <laughs> but it's right so much now, dude it's I'm, so fun to if you just think about the last five episodes we've <laughs> yeah I, you've actually, been i scrolled down and dude, just robert 1.1 robert 1.2 robert 1.3 <laughs> robert one like back to 1.1 up to 1.4 like yeah you've gone through so many emotions <laughs> and states mm-hmm from this, like, since you actually, since the baby thing became a thing. real, yeah, yeah, a real thing, you know, not just like yes on a pregnancy test, mm -hmm. but now you know, where you're fairly close, yeah, like, and we're we're and, over halfway now, yeah, yeah, yeah that's what it's I mean, insane. and it's just it's like, so it's, fast, dude, <laughs> I can't keep up, yeah, it feels like you just told me that's yeah. the thing, and it's been like it's like past the halfway, yeah, point. we are week twenty four now, I think, insane, yeah. Like it's it's so real, and now it's like almost every time you put the hand to the stomach, you feel you, you feel, feel her. Yeah. Like she's she's in there, she's alive. <laughs> Something so is cool. like, yeah, it's insane. And Santa came up. I don't know if I said that. Maybe I did, but uh, she came up on Saturday, and like just had like a little mini staycation, I mm -hmm. guess, of sorts, and hung out with us at the convention. Just like that was also so nice to get. Like Nelson from Kretz got to see her and see oh, shit. stomach yeah, and, cool. and everybody from Huckleberry got to see and feel stomach and, you know, all of that. And just how happy everybody is that I'm going to be a dad, you know, and that so puts nice. so much pressure on you because they're like, you're going to be such an awesome dad. You're like the coolest dude ever. I'm like, no pressure. Don't think about it. Yeah, you're going to be great. Like, I'm going to, yeah, I'm so going like, to fuck it up. Dude. I am so going to fuck this up. <laughs> it's like when we record in this room, you don't reflect on people listening. Even no. if we just have a few listeners, you know, you don't reflect on it. No. You don't want to know that people listen to you talk. No. From your ass, basically. Exactly. <laughs> just like, this is what I'm feeling at this current moment that I probably won't stand for tomorrow. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's recorded forever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. No. No thinking. No. But it was uh, it was super cozy just having Santa sit there because mm -hmm. I was like at first I invited her because I just wanted her to come along. But then immediately regretted myself because sitting at a tattoo convention, not being, doing anything yeah, and not or... really being interested in tattoos. And like you're just sitting on your ass watching idiots do mm -hmm. idiotic things, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, if you don't have the interest. <laughs> so it's... I'm like. 
yeah, I think I told her over 10 times, like, you don't have to come over. Like, it's definitely, I just said that to, 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 to and she's like, no, I really want to. And she had the best of time, like, met new friends and chilled out, met uh, Prax's uh, Prax, sister. Wa- oh, his sister, his <laughs> yeah. wife, yeah. He married his sister. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> like Squeak. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so she had a great time. And, uh, like, the only shitty thing about this convention weekend was not having a bathtub. Because I paid like a little bit extra for the room. For the room. The and I room. was 100% sure that it was going to come with the you tub. You should have just slid down on the floor with water pouring on you. Yeah, maybe I should have. It's like a bathtub, but sad. Yeah. You're sad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was sad. And it, the, yeah, that became like a thing throughout the whole convention. So, How like, big of a tub do you need to quali- for it to qualify as a bathtub? <laughs> I'm just like a like well, a, a bowl bigger than a sink, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> just something where you your need, ass, you need to say, fit in it. <laughs> I would say as long as your ass fits and everything else can be in the air, you're good. Isn't I, that the truth? I don't think so. No, no, because no. usually when you're in a tub, <laughs> you can have your legs and your upper body outside, and then basically like your middle middle of your back and your ass is in, you know, and half your thigh. So I'm yeah. like, ah, it's basically a bowl. Well, I mean, the the smallest tub I've ever had was in Germany, mm-hmm. and it's like half yeah, of the size of a, a tub. I've had one of those in my new house. But to like be sort of, if if I was lying down, both my legs were sticking straight up, straight so like up, my yeah. ass was against the wall. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like sitting. But you have that picture, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> On social media. Priceless. It's a great picture. Uh, but so, I, I, and I mean, that qualifies, I guess. But, but that's. Just slightly, maybe like two sinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, but that became like a thing. So I had like artists that I hadn't talked to came up and like, did you did you fix that tub yet? Because <laughs> I actually I went up to the room on the first like on the Friday, and as soon as I opened it up, the first thing I see is just the shower cube yeah, yeah, yeah. cubicle. Like no, I'm like what the fuck? Like I actually. Like I gave gave them a little bit more money for like a suite so we could have like cozy times. Sweet, and it was not sweet. It was bitter. It was a bitter sweet. Sons of bitches. <laughs> bitter sweet. You yeah, know what I, I got it. Yeah, I got yeah, it. Okay. What, that was. Do you my want me to joke. say it again? Yeah, yeah. No, no, that was my joke. That was not your joke. You said sweet, yeah, and I said, but bitter. it wasn't sweet. You know the sweet. Yeah, the room. Yeah, yeah. cool. Like the band. Like the band. <laughs> <laughs> the man in the back said everyone attack <laughs> yeah and, but and it turned into a ball gr- room blitz yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the girl in the corner <laughs> the, the, the nobody <laughs> yeah something she something was something something <laughs> she thinks she's oh, the passionate oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> but I went down and started like that's actually, not part of the lyrics <laughs> no and I complained kind of because that was the thing I don't complain about anything I hate like being a bother oh yeah, I do, but not but two, not two, two people. people. <laughs> <laughs> Just to my pillow, to you, and two the shower. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I went down and like, yeah, I think there's a, a mistake because I ordered a, a, a room with a, a bathtub. And they're like, did you specify that when you booked the room? And I'm like, yeah, no, I didn't. Maybe you I, son of a bitch. But I'm like, it was on the, the pictures when yeah, I yeah, yeah, you know. And they're I like, yeah, it. no, I'm sorry. I'm like, sorry, no mas. Uh, but then the guy said, um, check in like tomorrow after breakfast. Maybe we can switch rooms because a lot of people are leaving and maybe something will open up. And then I went there and she's like, no, we're fully booked. Like literally a slap in the face verbally. So. She was just like, please leave me alone. Come back tomorrow and I'll say no. Exactly. Basically what she told you. Pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah, I just. <sighs> Get out of my face, Jesus. <laughs> so right now I'm just like, I'm so eager to come home and just jump in the bathtub. It's weird. Like my, my thing with bathtubs. Yeah, I don't get it at all. But that's, it's the only way I can like properly wake up now. I'm so used to getting in the tub in the morning, which I do like, every yeah, day. That is insane. Every single day. I am the biggest environmental uh, thief or bastard. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, a bath You just sit in a bath day. full of your butt juice and yeah. just soak in it. Oh, yeah. God damn it. But everybody <laughs> keeps asking how I look this good. Asking? Yeah. They're asking? Yeah. Ass king. Ass king. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do it? It's ass bath water. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, ass juice. Ass juice. 
<laughs> I got one word for you in two words. <laughs> Ass juice. <laughs> one word, two words. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you find the work-life balance. No? Exactly. <laughs> and tying that into uh, work-life balance and uh, your own terms. Exactly. In so your own butt juice. Actually, if you want a bathtub, you call the hotel and you ask Tell for them. a room with a bathtub <laughs> when you book it. That way you don't have to become the asshole. Ass Without juice. a bath. <laughs> 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 yes, yes. Um, but... So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I talking about I ass juice, that. <laughs> and then <I> like, but <laughs> I mean ass. Uh, so I'm gonna try to really learn from this experience mm-hmm. with the bathtub. No, from the convention, and try to apply it to my normal working, you know, work days. Mm-hmm. And I have definitely decided now to drop the Saturdays. Uh, Very cool. So, so you will be. Uh, a four day a week work uh, dude. Oh, that is awesome. Right? But so I was talking to the other guys like from the 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 core team of friends mm-hmm. and most of them work only four days. Some what? even three days. Nelson works three days. My buddy Frederick works three days. Uh Malin and uh, her boyfriend Sebbe who we're going to be working with on mm-hmm. Comic-Con, they work four days. So Damn. they have like one day uh, a drawing day for the rest of the week. Uh, to just Smart. get Smart Right But then I asked Seb uh, Or like Sebastian uh, Like how often Do you actually do All of those drawings <laughs> He's like No I, I, I do it for Before, Next day yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah, just the one, just <laughs> the one. <laughs> <laughs> But I have one day To draw one thing It's great And then he stresses The rest of the week And he hates his life And then yeah, Monday and comes then along And he's, he's like, like ah, I got the so day good. Yeah Yeah I'm gonna do So much work today And then like YouTube <laughs> <laughs> Which I know is going to be my thing as well. Yeah. Yes. Ass juice. Ass juice. <laughs> it's a YouTube channel on its own. Yeah. No, but just having a full weekend, especially with baby. Yeah. Uh, it just feels like, well, I'm going to blame it all on the baby. So, which is the best sort of free card Dude, thing I have. It's the best fucking excuse. Like, I'm sorry, baby. You know, baby things. Yeah, can't, can't work. Yeah. But, but still give me money. Because baby, baby, you know, come on, bro, you don't want, you don't want to kill my baby. You want to kill my <laughs> Do you really want to be a baby killer? Exactly. Huh? Well, sit here huh? in my ass juice. Huh? Kill my baby. Don't make me call Will. <laughs> slap your ass. <laughs> <laughs> slap a ass? slap a gram from <laughs> Will. That's gonna be his new thing, dude. <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> He's so. just gonna travel the globe and smack people in the face. It's like that movie where he is that dating guy. Yeah, Hitch. Hitch, there you go. But like, He does that slap on yeah. the, the guy. <laughs> like, don't ever do that. Yeah. Again. Yes. But <laughs> And they're getting a divorce, apparently. I don't know if you saw that. Will Smith and that guy from Hitch? Yeah. <laughs> 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 he can't take any more slapping. <laughs> uh, no, but Jada. Uh, Jada yeah. and. Yeah. So, like, she's had enough. Uh, apparently. I don't know So, how. she, okay. Okay. Like, mm, I don't know. Yeah. This it's as confusing as the ass. No, no, no. But what's the <laughs> the the pirate? Oh yeah, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp and Amber, girl that pooped on the bed. Amber Hurst. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pooped, Amber on, pooped, the pooped on the bed. That's and the that's most where, insane. Dude, thing I was unsure. Ever. Look, no, no, no. <laughs> I wasn't sure about this whole thing, you know. Yeah. But as soon as I heard that one of them shit on the bed, I was like, "That's the crazy one." Yeah. That's who, the crazy one. Who does that? Because Johnny Depp sure is like, yeah, you know, and then he came and then my father said, and then uh, the bed, man. And he just like, you're like, what <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? But she shit on the bed and that takes priority yeah. in crazy in I, my book. Yeah, that is full on crazy. Like ha- I've never. Insane in, is what dude, it is. I've had some insane fights with exes. Mm-hmm. That has never been a thing where I'm just like, I'm just going to shit on her side of the bed or, you know, any side of the bed or any corner of the bed or any in the vicinity of the bed. Even like, the bedroom. Even the bedroom. Yeah. This has never been a target. No. For my ass juice. There, There's there's one place for there the ass juice. One, exactly. That's the and bathtub. it usually doesn't involve <laughs> anyone else. <laughs> Definitely bathtub, uh, but also toilet. Yeah. Yes. Holy no, but, shit. Yeah. yeah. That, and that then is she, a different kind of crazy. And she also, like, admitted to hitting him. And she's like, I didn't punch you. I hit you. Yeah, that is a strange one. <laughs> now, I'm going to throw my feces at you. <laughs> That's like such a weird thing. And then eat your face. 
Yes, because that's what chimpanzees yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen yeah. the stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's so insane, though. Yeah, but what the fuck is happening? Yeah. This world is really going bananas just to keep on the monkey train. Yeah, the monkey train. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. Where, where the hell were we going with this? Uh, you know, on your terms. On your terms. <laughs> on your terms. <laughs> Throw your feces on your partner's <laughs> side of the bed on your terms. <laughs> but, I mean, you've already kind of mapped out your... Your your plan. Yeah, but I had a question for you, mm -hmm. and that was, like, the thing you mentioned, sort of like a drive-by on the previous episode, <laughs> about <laughs> quitting one of, or, like, you know, not using one of your Instagram accounts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, just to kind of follow that up in this context. Yeah. Thinking behind it. Just mainly... I think the stress of having it just being there ticking nothing. Yeah. The only also, thing I do, I just promote the the podcast there now. That's <laughs> more or less the only thing I do because the podcast is kind of directly linked to that Instagram account, yeah, not yeah. the tattoo one, which is kind of weird because I am the tattoo guy. Like yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. knows that. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so it's more just, I guess, taking that out of mind Mm. is, you know, removing a lot of unnecessary stress from my life. Mm. Uh, I'm still going to keep it. I'm still, it's yeah, still going to yeah, be yeah, there. Exactly. So whenever I do anything, I, I'll probably post it on there. Mm. Um, but mainly just focus mm. on the tattoo one. So now I'm going to be promoting the, the podcast on the tattoo one more. Yeah. Because so. hey, I was thinking that I think you've always had this thing where your art like artist Rob and mm -hmm. tattoo Rob are different. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that is now we are exactly we are one. Yeah, exactly. we become venom. Venom, venom, venom. Said a venom, venom, venom. Yeah, I've heard it like once. I don't yeah, know how dude, it goes. I would never listen to that song. I just no venom, venom, venom. It's just like okay, we're good. Uh, it's, it's songs for my kids. That, yeah. that's what that is. Yeah. But, yeah, I was just thinking, like, it's nice to see you sort of, like, letting, closing those things. Yeah, yeah letting, like, go. letting go. Letting mm -hmm. go, yeah. Yeah. Because it takes time, and that's what I've been talking about. Like, sometimes it takes, like, time to kind of just, like, to wrap your head around these things and realize that maybe they're not that important. That is not that important. Exactly. Or maybe I can... Like, even if I let that account go, it doesn't stop me from being artist yeah. and tattoo artist. You know, like, yeah. it's I'm still that thing. Yeah. I just don't need to sort of, like, split it up into two different categories. Exactly. Which also is, like, no one likes using several Instagram accounts. No. I have four. And I use one. <laughs> so and, what what's going to be interesting is when I eventually do create something, like yeah. if I draw another poster or whatever, and... Like, I'm going to post it on the tattoo. Gram That's what I would do. Just to see the reaction. So, you, like, you don't make well, them in like often enough no. for it to break anything. Exactly. Like, before I did, yeah. you know, so I, I would do, you know, a portrait a day or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, that made sense having the art. The other one. Yeah. yeah. But now, you know, what's the point? But I would say that if you would do everything on the tattoo one, mm -hmm. like, mainly you post tattoos. Yeah. And then, you know, when you do one of those uh, posters, you post it there as well. You know, like in one post where all your images, like the process and everything. And yeah. then you use stories for the quick sketches, the storytelling, you know, that part. Yeah. And I think that would work. Yeah, because it shows the, the width of me as a yeah. tattoo artist as well, I think. Because mm. I've seen a lot of like the really like established, uh, you know, multiple thousand followers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hundred thousand follower type accounts. Mm -hmm. They do post their sketches. They do post like when they go out and do graffiti stuff or, you know, a lot of just their Them. anything creative yeah. or artsy. Like, uh, whereas I've always felt like it's it doesn't belong on the tattoo one. Because why I created the tattoo one was because the tattoos didn't go well on my art one. Yeah, same with my digital and traditional. Yeah, but exactly. I'm still gonna. I just found a way to do both. Yeah, I'll show you one in the posts. I'll show you one in the stories. In the stories, and then 
a combination in Reels. But do you save those stories? I haven't checked if you save your, like, have those oh, story folders. Oh, sometimes. I've done it with, like, digital portrait characters that I've done or, yeah. like, they draw this in your style. Oh, yeah. I yeah. think I've saved all those or, like, Somehow I've made those little because I mean that could be things. that could be a sort of good way to keep. That's how I've done it. Keep that's it how separate. I've done it. Yeah, yeah. So that's really nice. Yeah, because I like that. Because I I just posted the images without text on them. Yeah, yeah. Just spammed like fifteen images in my stories and then just collected them all immediately and put them in the in the thing. The folder. Yeah. yeah. Same thing with the logo. Same thing with all the stuff that I enjoy doing that isn't part of my feed. Yeah, yeah. So it works. But uh, I mean, we'll we'll see how it goes or mm. what I do. Like at this stage, again, I'm I'm really over Instagram mm. uh, or social media in general. I don't spend any time on my phone. Even mm. um, it's only if I'm really really bored that I will take out my phone. But normally, I just enjoy like just sitting down and being like away from, from everything. everything. Yeah, like even not looking at TV. You know, just sitting kind of. You know, looking at uh, the world, uh, you know, thinking about things instead. Mm. It just feels really liberating and not being so tethered to your your phone, being that sort yeah, of yeah. Insta slave that we have been for so long. Mm. So I don't know if it's becoming more mature. I don't think it is because of baby, <laughs> but it's just like but I think coming baby to her. is the instigator for all these things. Dude, like, so much has become like flipped on its head in a way like yeah yeah Yeah. you have you've worn me forever (laughs) told you and it gets like when the baby pops that's the thing like it's it's just gonna get so much more real of that no no but it's just gonna flip more things yeah like yeah everything's gonna feel so unimportant yeah but it already does yeah even today like yeah everything is just not that important like Mm -hmm. You know. But that's nice, though, because now you're doing that journey. You're doing it way faster than I did because I was a bit dumber, younger. <laughs> but that's that, because yeah. you are like my, my faucet, whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, <laughs> like the answers for the test. Yeah, yeah the, exactly. Whatever the fuck that's yeah. called. Yeah. Uh, because you have told me about all of this mm-hmm. and, and you've always been so like eager to see how I'm going to yeah, like, yeah, handle yeah. what, yeah. you know, But parenthood. you're like a decade older than I was when yeah, I got my kid. exactly. And that is the exciting thing as well. Like, Grayer and, and maybe wiser, but <laughs> yes. So, I, and that's why I really do believe that this was the perfect time for me to yeah. get the baby. Like, hopefully it'll all work out, you know. I, I We're just halfway, so mm. still, you know, a lot of shit can still happen. Of course, but that's but not what you kind no, of no, want to tell no. yourself. Exactly. Like, that's... Because now baby is like fully developed. It's just going to grow larger. And that is insane. Like, that is insane. So we could theoretically get her out Pop now. Baby, yeah. And she is a full baby. She just mm. needs to grow. Grow and make, become stronger. Yeah. It's insane. Um, but uh, but yeah, so if I would have been 23 and got a baby, that wouldn't have been good, yeah. I think. Like I would have been a good dad, of course, but that... I wouldn't but have I understood ca- things. But I think you're calmer now as well. Yeah. Because I think something that happened when you were dating Anna, for example, and you mm-hmm. lived in Australia, and you were in different places in life. You know what I mean? You, yeah. You, you've been around, like, a lot of places, lived in different Village countries. Village bicycle. Yeah. Dude, yes. Everyone's <laughs> had a ride. And, <laughs> and I knew you would get it. <laughs> but the cool thing about you is you've done a lot of things. So that, like, you still enjoy traveling. Mm-hmm. But if you don't travel, you're not going to miss – like, you're going to miss it like a normal person likes yeah. to travel. But you're not going to, like, I've done nothing with my life. Exactly. And now I need to travel to live. You know what I mean? That's the thing. And, and that's, that's also something that I've realized, that, yeah. like, I've done everything. Like, everything I've ever dreamed of, even more. Dude, it's just insane. the surf camp that yeah, you went yes. to in Australia the first time, you know, the like, crazy surf life you lived. Dude, I surfed with a white shark. Like that's just that I think is beyond normal people's dreams, <laughs> but I've done that and so much more, mm-hmm. and and now and you were young, yes, then, like the yeah, 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 twenty two, yeah. Think. But just like I've lived kind of lifetimes, over and over, and like cheated death <laughs> a couple of times, and now I deserve to be like retired dad. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's just like yeah it's yeah it's a new adventure waiting it is you know. yeah it's definitely me having checked all the boxes of what i wanted to do and now it's new episode mm. like really the newest or the last chapter i guess if you don't count like becoming a no, uh, granddad or dude, whatever but that's the thing yeah it doesn't stop here i think mm. there are no last chapters and then you, you no, I, but I, it is like the, the new but it's a thing. new yeah it's a new phase in life it definitely is like the other stuff is done now next yeah uh, and also like that's something that i've been battling with a lot is always trying to go back to who i was yeah i remember when you came back from australia that was what you were missing yeah. like you, you know like i put myself through all this shit i just want to become that rob and you're like no no, no that rob is no more he's gone like, he no mas yeah <laughs> <laughs> he no home he no home exactly <laughs> <laughs> but just like but it really did take me like two years or so to do realize yes, it that yes it, it has been like a really fucked up battle inside my head and not being super duper depressed but being not in depressed. that sense no, like but i could definitely say that dude, i've you been were depressed. so bummed when you came back like you were and just like yeah it was so easy to fall back into the hole yeah and i think that was the hardest thing like when you felt like you had climbed up halfway something happened and you were like drop to the bottom and then no but it's basically then, so. like you 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 lost your grip and mm-hmm. instead of grabbing on you let the other yeah, one go like, as well but it like, like yeah <laughs> <laughs> for some fucking reason and yeah. then like the energy to climb up was so difficult to yeah. get and then you know you did that and then inch by inch just Dude, slowly and then at some point you turn on the lights and you're like oh there's stairs Yeah. There's been stairs oh, this whole fucking time. There's an escalator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what it feels like yeah. sometimes when you're in that groove and you're like, motherfucker, I, I just don't have it in me to climb. Yeah. And then you just look at it differently and you're like, the escalator is right there. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, there's a rocket ship. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, there are so <laughs> many ways out of here. You just chose the hardest one yeah. because, you know. Exactly. I'm going to moonwalk up these, this yeah, ladder. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, so that feels really good, mm. like having realized that, I guess. And then, yeah. of course, I know it's probably gonna, I'm probably gonna drop back down a of few course, times. Dude, but and... that's life. Like life is like a yo-yo. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like not a cool, Jojo cool Rabbit, kid. like, and then not not Jojo Rabbit, uh, Jojo <laughs> the <laughs> Adventures of whatever the fuck that anime bizarre show, adventure, yeah, bizarre adventure. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah, <laughs> not Jojo Rabbit. No, I thought good. you were like yo yo <laughs> yo yo <laughs> gangsta. <laughs> Gangster, <laughs> that's yes, the most that ungangster is, thing. Yeah, ever. <laughs> exactly. That's what my a white skin says. <laughs> a white, a white. <laughs> What's up, yo yo? Paley for life. Paley's for life. <laughs> uh, but on the subject of Paley. finding balance as well, like just in regards of doing your own thing, it's also like it comes with a few sacrifices. I feel like you know what I mean. Like, of course. You, The thing is, if you want to do things on your terms, you might need to let go of some of the other stuff that you enjoy, you know. Because uh, I felt like in the beginning, I wanted to do all the things that I wanted to do, you know, like. And at the and same at, time. At the same time, everything. Mm-hmm. Like, I had such a hard time. I thought, like, if I don't do all of it at the same time, I'm none of the stuff that I don't do. You know what I yeah, mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I can't be a stuntman and an artist. I can't be, you know, just like, every, just like basically, the one. like, you yeah. split up. Like, yeah. you split up your tattoo and thing, and then you're like, okay, I'm going to do a little bit of that, but I got to do the tattoo stuff because that's my job. But but I need to be the artist that does the poster stuff instead of just, like, they could just be one. Yeah. And even if you don't do the posters right now, you're still the poster guy. Yeah. I am still the poster guy. But like you that, are. That, that that's is... the thing. But it's hard to accept if you're not constantly doing it. You know what I mean? Yes. And that that has been a really, really big struggle because it's always, you know, we've been like the biggest dream chasers out of so, anybody that I know, more yeah. or less. And Dude, just like none, none of the people that we grew up with did anything. No. Like people were like, oh, I'm going to work with computers and then... They became like a salesman, salesman, <laughs> or like yeah. they sold computers, or yeah. they they just never had a thing where they like. I took all my nerdy stuff mm-hmm. and I tried to make it all my job, you know. Whether it was becoming a Ninja Turtle in his thirties to <laughs> a stunt man to you know, like the stuff that I yeah. enjoyed watching and growing up, 
doing, like dreaming about, dreaming about, yeah, 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 exactly. And then, sure, a lot of life just sucked, but we had fun, you know. Like, I mean, it sucked in like money, pay, you know, all that stuff. You but do, it was, you, well, but, you have to sacrifice that. But you, there the are some there's sacrifices. Always, yeah, there's there. always the sacrifice. Yeah, and, and and yeah, that's definitely also. I think. I mean, again, just because we we are getting older, yeah. we have been through many many different things it's just realizing that the whole the whole sacrifice thing yeah, yeah, yeah and also like well what dreams are worth chasing like of course being a poster artist would be amazing amazing but yeah. now i don't have the drive anymore and like you know well it would be really cool but mm-hmm. i'm okay with it not happening yeah same of. thing like this podcast when we started like if we think about the like, first we're time we're gonna we be fucking it, super duper famous exactly and, and we gonna... were super driven yeah and we were posting about it and we were talking about it i don't have that energy anymore no. like i still mention it every now and uh, then dude, i like, mention it yeah. when i think about it but mostly it's i would say it's reflective therapy you know, like you know what i mean yeah i throw a bunch of shit at you you throw a bunch of shit at me and then we're something covered sticks. in shit and yeah. then something sticks eventually when we wash it off yeah and you're like <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 that yeah. was good yeah <laughs> yeah And then people listen in on that, and that's terrifying. It is. <laughs> Let's not think about that. Uh, yeah. But but again, I think if you want to do stuff, you got to be willing to let go of things. Yeah. And you know, I wanted to be a stunt fan. I wanted to be an acrobat mm-hmm. of th- sorts. You know, like I wanted to do cool shit, basically. Yeah. But I what I didn't realize was that I just wanted to create things, whether yeah. they were you know physical or drawn. You know. Yeah. Uh, And now that we're o- older and kind of realize this, it's so much easier. It I can is. be all of it at the same time, without having to like split myself op- like apart and just suck at that, suck at that, yeah. suck at that. Yeah, so, like I can focus <laughs> in, you know. Yeah. And then once I feel comfortable with something, I'm like, okay, I'm tired of this now. I don't want to draw, you know, whatever. Yeah. And then I'll let go of the ink stuff and I'll just focus on photography. And then I'll let go of that for a while and just and film focus. things or yeah. do something else. You yeah. know, and you can just jump between these things without you being without you being less of it. Exactly. You know? I mean, what we've learned throughout our entire lives is the laser focus part. Yeah. But now we've learned how to aim the laser also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before it was just like you shoot everywhere and see what happens. Yeah, it was like you know when the laser <laughs> hits a disco ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's just a <laughs> everywhere. But now it's just like oh, that's where I want to go, and then mm. whoop, and you just aim for whatever that is, and then mm. see how that goes until you don't want that anymore. Yeah, and, and that being okay, yeah. that was my problem. Mm-hmm. Like in the past, I would be like, okay, I'm doing stunts now. Okay, then I'm doing stunts. I think I'm like, afraid want... of failing as well. Like, yes, I'm uh, gonna be like nothing if I don't if I don't continue this. So you have the stunt thing, then you add the drawing. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm doing drawing and stunts, and then like I want to do acrobatics on the side, and then you do acrobatics, drawing, and stunts. Yeah. Okay, now I want to do skateboarding, and then you add skateboarding. So now you're doing these four things. Mm-hmm. You know, and just keep adding and adding and adding. Because if you let go of something, you've failed, or yeah. you, 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 you're not a skater or a stuntman anymore, or you're like, no, that's not how it works. You But know? I think for me it was also because like, well, if I was break dancing, yeah. I would try to learn like a certain move, and that was mm-hmm. really really difficult, and I tried and tried and tried and failed and failed and mm-hmm. failed, and then after a while, I needed something that could like give me the sense of accomplishment yep. so that brought in let's say the skateboarding, yeah, then. skateboarding and then like that. oh then I learned how to ollie and kickflip yeah, and like because you get to start from woo, the beginning woo, and get you get like, those yeah. highs and then you go back to breakdance and then you finally learn that thing yeah. it's like a woo woo and then you start yeah. failing at the skateboarding and then you get better at the breakdance yeah, and then you start then, to learn guitar yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you're like oh yeah, yeah I'm gonna do drums add, now yeah. and then just, <laughs> instead of letting it go yeah, you just yeah. add another one a and keep add. practicing yeah. everything <laughs> yeah and at some point yeah. it just falls down like a, like a you know card house like oh yeah whatever the fuck yeah do. exactly it's almost like you, you start building a card house out of cards and then towards the top it's with bricks yeah I just keep adding <laughs> like, heavier <laughs> stuff at the top <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I'm I'm just the one I'm just like you, you start building it with kittens and then cinder blocks and then cocaine no. <laughs> and then bathtub and, and then boom bathtub <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. So that is pretty much life. That's a t-shirt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but something else to kind of relieve yourself of stress <laughs> when it comes to all this shit about doing things your own way is to actually just get paid for stuff. Yes. Uh, just fucking be honest, you know, and just get paid or don't take the gig because the amount of headaches that you get from doing these low paid gigs you know yeah how long is that going to be worth it dude it never is no at some stage you need to really look over what you're doing and just seeing like well this isn't really working like what do i do to switch this up to actually sustain myself or whatever like and what do you do you reach out to us, of course. Yeah, of course. Yes. Always reach out. Yes. So, but it's it, it's really hard to you know like ask for proper pay. Yeah. But then maybe that client isn't worth it. You know what I mean? Because exactly. imagine having like fifteen clients that are all paying shit. Yeah. Or like let's say the total amount of those jobs were like thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. And that that's fine, but imagine if you had like. Three of those, and they paid, you know, thirty thousand. Thirty thousand yeah. crowns was what I was. Yeah, thinking. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not dollars, yeah. uh, but thirty thousand crowns, which is just like three thousand dollars. Yeah. So just like a normal monthly salary for for a Swede, a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like a, I guess it's above average. I guess yeah, thirty. Like but it's a, it's a good paying gig. But it's a good paying gig, and I was just thinking, like, imagine if you just had to do less for the same amount. You yeah, know? and that is the goal. And that is the goal. And that's and why I mean, you are the fucking master at this. Yeah, but like it took time. But it, it's yeah, like but I you got learned there. it. Yeah. You kind of went sort of Neo with the Matrix. You just sort of saw through, and just mm-hmm. all of a sudden, you just see those numbers, and you can start. Actually and you can justify it. them, you know. You yeah. can justify them because a lot you, of that money will disappear on tax or something else, you know. And exactly. Then it's not that much. It's just decent pay. Yeah, exactly. And that's also like, so where where would you want to be in life? Like, yeah. if you don't think about like, I want to buy a Ferrari every month. Yeah, exactly. You know, be realistic, but just like, what do you need to actually live a good, fulfilling life yeah. and actually kind of save a little bit of money? Mm-hmm. Like, what would that be a month? try to break that down and then how do you break that into one gig like mm-hmm. to make that worth yeah. worth it for you you know what i mean uh so like and again i mean i'm not the the guy to talk to about this Ilias is definitely more the guy to talk to about how to start thinking more about getting paid I'm more the guy that sort of just bends over and takes it <laughs> and then and then asks for for a little handout. <laughs> like please. <laughs> but, but but the older you get, the more kind of fed up you become. Once you see past the like the veneer, I guess, or the is it mine or yours? I, I don't, don't know. know which one. One that's yeah, one closer. Of yeah. yeah, I don't know. Close. Uh but but it is like it's such an important lesson that I wish people learned earlier, you know. Yes. Uh, of Th- course, you need some struggle. Otherwise, if everything just goes your way, you're probably a dick. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you'll you'll become like this. Like you're gonna feel like it needs to go that way, or you know. Yeah. Like, the the yeah, only way need to a bit learn of, is yeah. to to fail. And like, also, also, just you need that struggle to appreciate the good things, you know. Yeah. Like if it's always good, you're not gonna appreciate it in the same way as no. like saving for your first iPad or your first laptop, you know, like and actually like I bought my first, you know, computer or yeah. whatever like like that I need for drawing. How or much you deserve Dude, that and just like yeah. the gratif- gratification mm-hmm. of fucking earning something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But when I bought my first like Wacom that I actually bought, not the the one that I was sort of gifted for cheap on the the museum and I didn't use for two years because I was afraid. (laughs) Uh, But just like when I saved for the Intuos 4 or whatever the fuck was on the market back then, like the the, when I bought like an, for me, expensive one at the time, like it took a while to gather that money. Same thing with the the first iPad that I bought that didn't even have pressure sensitivity. Yeah. But I was like, oh, I think this is the way to go. Like having a portable drawing device. Yeah. Back in I don't know 2012. Yeah, and for me when I when I bought my first iPad and that was like 
living more or less a full year of not making any money <laughs> at all. Yeah. And then all of a sudden getting to start tattooing again and making a lot of money mm. and then being able to buy that iPad. Yeah, that buying like, the, your like, first thing in a while. That yeah. was insane. Like, that's why I love the iPad so much because it is a reminder of... Yeah, like I, hard times. I yeah. worked so hard to get this, mm. you know. And I use it every day. Like it is one of the best investments I've ever, ever done. That and mm. the new tattoo machine that I'm using and have been using for two years now. Yeah, I remember when you bought that as well. That was yeah. also so scary and mm. like I don't really have enough to, you know, do this, but I'm buying this to like mm. make it worth it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's nice. It's, it's so really nice. nice. It's so and nice. the cool thing about what we do is that usually th- when you invest in something like this, you usually get to use it to earn back the money you spend. Yeah, exactly. On it as I was well. just gonna say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so so it is. You like, spend money to make money. Yeah, and the cool thing is that if you're not gonna get money back, this is that means you shouldn't buy this thing. No, it's exactly. Just gonna fuck you over. Yeah. Uh, so it is. Like it is a that that's a yeah, balance, yeah it is because sometimes you kind of need that kick in the ass as well like okay I am gonna buy this I don't like I don't really uh, deserve it or I don't have enough money yeah to to actually buy this but if I get it there's no going back yeah like then I really have to do this but you have to stick to that. But, but but then I think you need to look at your track record. Yeah. Like, are I, you the guy that, like, <laughs> I bought the gym membership to work out and I never did? Yeah. You know, like, the expensive one. Like, okay, I'm going to buy this one. It's, like, 600 uh, crowns or $60 a year or, like, uh, a, a month. month. Yeah. A month, yeah. 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 And yeah. then it's going to motivate me. And, and then you have that. Yeah, and you go just, twice yeah, and then it's just, twice. like... <laughs> It's yeah. there. It's yeah. there. And then you've bought, like, the camera you never use because, like, a bunch of people buy, you know, DSLRs mm-hmm. that yep. just lie around. and Kind of like my GoPro, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I bought it for the one thing, and I'm like, well, I... Well, we did use it for a while. Yeah, uh, yeah, so... yeah, yeah. And I have used it a couple of times mm-hmm. for the tattooing, but I just didn't find, like, the perfect way to, to I actually to make thought it of look. buying that as well. Like, just buying that instead of the camera I'm buying. Oh, okay. But I really have ideas so i just like no that's not gonna work yeah but no. it's like a great fucking piece of camera though like for the size that you it's amazing yeah. it's so easy to bring with you and all of that and, and it's waterproof is, yeah. and you know so it's gonna be perfect for like going out with the kid mm-hmm. and like doing you just fun things on the kid now <laughs> yeah yeah kind of track him yes so i can see all the see pedophiles all the... <laughs> exactly yeah uh, <laughs> lasers <laughs> exactly no uh, so hopefully I'll make it worth it at some point. But mm. that one really felt unnecessary. I didn't have the money for it at the time either. Yeah, I remember like, it. You thought about it returning just, it. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, or just selling it. But mm. eh, fuck it. It is what it, it is. is what it is. Uh, you know? Look, yeah. you're going to make some bad investments. Yeah. Like, it's part of it. That's how you learn. Yep. To cherish money. Um, but... Uh, what else do we have on like the topic? I really feel like I've uh, no, over explained everything that I wanted to say. Yeah. Um, and I don't think I have anything specific, but I would love to hear uh, what everyone else kind of took away from this episode. Because yeah. I think this is more of a self reflection episode than Definitely. it is do this, people. Uh, yeah. This is where we are at now. Exactly. And how we kind of view, you know. Doing things your way, yeah, but still being relevant, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, can you do, relate yeah. to what we're saying, or are you not there yet, mm. or have you just gotten started and don't know which thing to laser focus on? Like, just let us know. Don't yeah, be let afraid us know. To reach yeah, exactly. Out. Like, we are very open to most things. Yeah. Uh, so just not anal, but you know. Yeah, maybe just words. <laughs> yeah. For now. For. Now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see where this podcast goes. Yeah. <laughs> but, wow. <laughs> yeah, I am yeah. so tired. So the humor is yeah. on point. But ding. <laughs> no, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's move on. Move on. Let's Thank move on. Thank you. <laughs> 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 that just threw me off entirely. Like, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. No tools. We are moving well, straight know. into... Or did you... Yeah? No? Yeah? Uh, no. 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 Nothing? No. No. no I, haven't, I haven't bought anything. I haven't no. used anything. No. Work? 
Work. Can you talk about work? Yeah. No, I I mean, yeah. I could talk about the new colors, but it's not much to say. They, I yeah. see your true colors. They <laughs> are <laughs> really shit. Yeah. No, I'm not not happy slow. with how how mm-hmm. the colors are working. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to cut all this out anyways. No, so. you're not. It's going to be like tools, no tools. No, no tools. No tools. So, mo- moving on. <laughs> Retro time! Peanut butter, uh, retro time. Pe- <laughs> <laughs> I love peanut butter, red, the, peanut butter, red. <laughs> the hip thrust. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I'm sitting on this yeah, yeah, metallic yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. Oh, that's what you're doing. You're sliding that yeah, metal like, rod between your cheeks. Nice. Not between the cheeks. Of course, it's between your cheeks. And yeah, have yeah. you seen Moon <laughs> Knight? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen. I've seen stuff. But I have I was, only I was, seen Moon Knight. I was homesick. Like, oh you know, shit! Yeah, and yeah. I didn't talk didn't about talk any about of that because the Karen normal. is dead inside. Yeah. Uh, how does that? <laughs> but I, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I wrote stuff down. Come on, come on, Robert. Come on, look at your list. Da, 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 da. Take us to the show. Come on. Come on. Actually, yeah. So I rewatched The Last Action Hero. That's mm, one. It's that's amazing. very fitting because of the accent that I was doing. But cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's why I said it first. Oh. It's, uh, it's better when I said it. Yes, I really, really <laughs> enjoy it. Like, if, ah, dude, it, I love that movie even when I saw it super late. Yeah. It was like... But it's... like, if you haven't seen it in a while, it's definitely worth going back, checking out, because there's so many references that you just yeah, you kind of missed yeah. or didn't understand. But it's dude. such a funny, great action movie. I actually should watch it with my kids. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, know. yeah, yeah. I would definitely recommend that. I, dude, I watched that movie so many times it's, as a kid. It's more or less an action movie from the perspective of a kid. Of a kid, yeah. And it just that makes it so unique. And the premise is fun. It's you amazing. Know? Like it's this magic ticket that yep. no one thinks is real, and then it is real, and yep. things just get fucked. And up. it's so dark. Yeah. And and that guy, the the, the bad guy with the eye, exactly. and, and the guy with the axe, they're all terrifying. They are. Yeah. It scarred me for life yeah. in the best possible way. Uh, so that was one. And da, 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 da. and I actually I didn't know that this existed, but I found uh, an animated Night of the Living Dead, like mm-hmm. a remake of Night of the Living Dead. Um, so like, if you don't really like zombie movies, but you wanted to see the Night of the Living Dead, and you like kind of Scooby Doo or animated movies, that's on HBO. What? So they they are getting more and more of the animated Warner Brothers type stuff, yeah. sort of grown up animated movies. So the Mortal Kombat's and the yeah, yeah, yeah. like uh, the the dark kind of Batman animated movies and stuff are there. Uh, I also saw the um, Return of the Joker. I think it's a Batman Beyond mm-hmm. movie, and it's I would say it's kind of one of the best animated Batman movies because oh. of. Like it's also really dark, but still very much in line with the show. Mm-hmm. But the story is perfect. I love it. So if oh, you yeah. haven't seen it, Return of the Joker uh, on HBO Max, uh, animated Batman Beyond movie, fantastic. I love it. Uh, I would say my second favorite after like uh, the Red Hood. Um, so yeah, check it out. The so, the I think the one important one mm-hmm. was Attack the Block. I don't know oh, if you've shit. seen it. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, that's with the Star Wars guy. Yeah, exactly. I think it was I've his first. I've not seen it, but it looked like fun. I love the premise for it. And I started watching Didn't it. Didn't they make a second one? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, but I think uh, only the first one. Because this one, I, I stole this from my mom and dad. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love that they got this weird movie. But they just buy everything. And well, then they so they have no idea that I steal them. Like, they don't miss it. They don't watch it. They watch it the one time, and then it's just laying there. Yeah. Uh, but it's been sitting in my shelf for years because it came out in uh, 2011. 11, yeah, or 12, yeah. So That's it. Uh, it came out the same time or around the time of Chronicle as well. Yeah, Because yeah. I remember them being sort of back-to-back. And it's... Uh, so what threw me off the first time I started watching it because mm. I was like, ah, fuck, I don't feel this, is that... Uh, well, it's about these kind of, I guess, ghetto kids, if you want to call it anything, like uh, people living in the projects. Uh, it starts out with kids mugging a, a like um, a nurse, mm-hmm. kind of, 
like well the way our friends did yeah, yeah, yeah. growing up so it just made me feel really bad yeah like fuck and it kind of authentic you know mm-hmm. they make it it, it was it hit too close to home basically yes uh, and and i just didn't feel like it the first time and then i was like okay i'm i need to watch it and uh Boyega, like the guy yeah. from Star Wars, he is so believable as the character, and he's such a douchebag dick. Mm-hmm. But his arc in this movie is fantastic; like it really is mm-hmm. great, and it is one of the most unique and fun sci-fi movies that I've seen in a very, very long mm-hmm. time. I can't even compare it to anything because it's so unique, mm-hmm. and it's like it's very fun, but it's super dark. Uh, it's such a new and cool premise, just following mm. these sort of well, these project kids, yeah. like these troubled youths, uh, dealing with an alien threat in their neighborhood. <laughs> like so fun. Like so it is like aliens attacking awesome. the block, and they're yeah. defending the block, ish, mm. but also trying to just survive. Survive, yeah. and then they're people being chased by that weird dog-looking motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, and it's not just the one. No, it's not just the one. Yeah, and. Uh, Also, those characters. I've seen parts of it. I just don't remember if I've seen the whole thing. Yeah, uh, I can't I remember, remember you talking about it. Like I know yeah, I we've have. mentioned it, but not seen uh, it. Maybe it is that I've seen clips. Yeah, uh, or maybe you have seen it. Or maybe I have seen it because I remember them being in the apartment mm-hmm. and that fucking thing coming. And like, I have like, I don't want to give it away. Like I know it's a bit old now, but yeah. I just like I think it's worth a watch because it's such a fun premise. Like. And I love sometimes I just love the premise more, you know, so so that I can watch the movie even if I like oh well this sucks but I kind of like where it's the idea behind it and then they just didn't succeed yeah but I kind of like it it's like those weird superpower movies that we've watched you know with the guy that could like make light bulbs explode basically yeah yeah <laughs> uh, and he played what did he play in like he was he was from something else um, remember. Like the guy that 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 movie where he could like do electricity, that was the guy from. Uh, you recommended this, and I watched it, and it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean Code Eight? Code Eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but they're like a guilty pleasure watch. You yeah, know, the, like the Arrow guy. Arrow guy. That's yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. But and they kind of suck, but they don't. You yeah. know what I mean? Like the premise is nice, but it sucks. It's an that, okay movie. Yeah. Well, it's as, like Project as, Powers. Yeah, or yeah, the fuck. yeah, exactly. It's like it has an awesome premise about these drugs that give you a five second superpower, or five minute, or five minute. Yeah. yeah, and then or you die. Yeah, basically, like it's such a fucking cool. I love that fucking premise. And then it just sucks. You yeah, know, like it's but it doesn't suck so that you die inside. But it, it just doesn't deliver on the it, whole thing. It's a, it's worth the one watch. The I one think. watch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and attack the block. I think is kind of one of those, but. Kind of bit, something yeah. that I would definitely see myself going back to. And Chronicle is basically the one that, for me, goes all the way. Yes, because they they did everything right. They did somehow make everything right. Like you can really relate to the kids. Like oh, these yeah. are three kids. They all get superpowers. They explore said superpowers because yeah. they can't believe it, and they do what kids do with you know an adult. The, like without adult involvement yep, yep, in exploring yep. superpowers because I feel like we would have done the same thing for sure we would have gone Worse. around flying and then gone into shops and just like Stolen trolled shit. No, but, and, <laughs> troll, but, and trolled people yes of course that was the age where you did stupid things so, yes like we jumped into those like you know shopping carts, carts and then just went down hills and then like how did you steer like oh no we didn't steer, steer? we just <laughs> hope we survived yeah and you were like And then you think about the the slope of that fucking hill, the uh-huh. Bobo Bakken. Oh my god! And yeah. you're like, how did we survive? But it's <laughs> so steep, yes. and you're like, we didn't think. No. And <laughs> with superpowers, we would have done worse things. Like yes, invincible. And that's dude. It would have been so much like that. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. we have superpowers now. Whoa, and then whoa, you would have yeah, you would have pressed <laughs> someone too far or something. Yeah. Too, yeah. Like. Yeah, yeah, thank God we didn't have superpowers. And Chron- <laughs> Chronicle, I think, is on Netflix now. Is it? Yeah, that's awesome. I'm Or gonna rewatch either Netflix or HBO, one of the the bigger ones. Mm. And Netflix has started really tanking. Like they've yes, lost. I heard. I heard half of their value in stocks. Mm-hmm. But I think after they said they were gonna like go hard on everyone that shares like a their a Netflix account, uh-huh. people were like, bow, bow, bow. yeah, Fuck and also you. the. 
and and they really fell into the whole woke trap also. But I, I think, think, oh, dude, no one does ev- it. Everybody, everybody. Disney, is, Disney's the worst. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm so tired. It just of never all of it. I just want to watch Attack the Block movies. You know, yeah, like that's exactly. what I want right now. Like I don't exactly. want to watch anything of the new stuff. No, and and that's why I'm kind of liking uh, Moon Knight. Moon Knight mm-hmm. because it feels like there's no room for that shit. No. Uh, I mean, there's a little bit of it, but, but not it's in your face. It's very little. Yeah, it's very little. And I think as the episodes per progress, se, yeah. And progress, yeah, it's less and less. Like, what are you going to add to Egyptian gods now? Yeah. Like, you know, that kind of time. Yeah. So they, but, they, there's still time for Disney to ruin it. Oh, yeah. I'm really, but really let's, liking But let's that. dive into Moon Knight while we're talking about it, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, so for me, obviously, I, I kind of like everything. So I'm easy. Uh, but I really enjoyed this one. Uh, what I do feel is that I should have waited a little bit longer to have more to Dude, binge. I would say this is better if you can binge it. Yeah, because it's only going to be six episodes apparently, mm. so it's a it's a really short series, mm. and we'll see if it is going to be tied into any other bigger yeah, yeah, thing yeah. or not. But that's so one of the biggest things that I enjoy with this is that it's totally its own, Unrelated, yeah. not a tie in or a branch out of this or it's connected. I think that part is going to be like the end credit. Yeah. On this yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, it's going to be because like, like he's too big of an actor to yeah, not be to, involved in the, the, yeah, the greater the MCU. Greater. Uh, I definitely see him being involved in the future Blade movies or uh, whatever dark mm-hmm. stuff they're going to be doing. Um, yeah, shit. That's did you ever MCU, finish, or did you see the end credits scene on the Eternals? I haven't seen the Eternals. Oh, okay, there you go. I've still like I've started one more time. Yeah. I think I'm on five now or yeah. something. Still not. Yeah, <sighs> it's a rough watch. Like just getting past the. Like, I'm thinking of just like should I skip the the text? I was like, I'll just watch something else. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like. No. Well, I do feel you, and yeah, I still don't think it's a good movie. Uh, a lot yeah. of people have started coming around a bit, I've heard, uh, but I really I didn't. Met them. I didn't I enjoy it. Met them. I did not enjoy it. Mm-hmm. But um, so you know that Jon Snow, the character from, um, you can like just... the 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 actor from oh, uh, Game of Thrones, okay, Jon yeah, Snow, yeah, yeah. is in it. But his character he is. I didn't know. is uh, sorry, I have a burp sort he of on is his in way. it. Yep. Oh shit! Was he in the trailer? Uh yes, really? Yeah, he was. yeah. yeah. Oh, he shit. doesn't have a I big don't... role, but he is in it. But uh, He's the bastard so, son of a... s- spoiler alert: like the end oh. credit scene is with him. Okay. And he is maybe or maybe not a character from the comics, and from the dark MCU. So like they also have a darker universe with dark magic and vampires like Morbius and uh, <laughs> That's another one werewolves. And, and all. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to. No. I, I'm going to see it when it is for free. Oh, very yeah. much. Um, for free. Very free. Extra but, free. So there is like a, a voice in the background of that end credit scene kind of just warning him or something. And that is Marshala Ali <sighs> as Blade. Blade. So he is like... And it is officially in the end credits, like oh, listed man. as Blade. I hope they train him well. Yes, because Wesley Snipes, at least he I did mean, the he, fighting well. He's got a martial arts background. Yeah. Like so, yeah. We'll see what. Maybe he's just gonna do like cool motorcycle riding and, and yeah. yeah. I don't he's know. Like, yeah. We'll see. Hold oh. out a sword and drive really fast. Uh, they do the action pretty well in the they, MCU, in, I think. Yeah, they so do. they do. I'm, I'm I guess okay. Moon Knight is the one where they kind of they don't do it poorly, but they CGI a lot and yeah. it becomes weird. Like it, I, it is like noticeable CGI fighting. Like, what I do like is that he goes all in oh, and yeah. he fucking slays people. No, he is really, killing. Yeah, dude, dudes. he's not holding back. <laughs> Which He's is not pushing people around. Pretty much the first time we ever see anybody in the whole of the MCU you, actually kill. You know what I like people. about the character as well, like, is that he feels different. Mark yeah. and Steven feel different. They are clearly two yeah. different people. It be, like, which I loved feel. in the the last episode. Spoiler yeah. alert: when they meet. Yeah, 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 that was so authentic, yeah. and and you just felt was, sort of the joy of them, yeah. like finally being. 
two different yeah. dudes. You know, yeah. it's just like it's so brilliant in that way. How did this? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No, it's really. And then good. that third it's, sarcophagus. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. No, no. It 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 was a lot of fun. It and was... and that's the cool thing. Like they're having so much fun fun with how they cut it when he mm-hmm. sort of flips in between. Dude, that is my, and that just... is actually my favorite part in this, especially the first two episodes. Yes. When it's where the stress boring. of it. Yeah. And, and then, then he's just like, like yeah, he's somewhere. It's like, like what the fuck is? Yeah, he's yeah, driving yeah. backwards down the thing now. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, I love that. Yeah. I loved that. And whole thing. and like you said, the uh, two very different, distinct characters. Distinct with, characters. Like Stephen yeah. being this very sort of ah! yeah. Like he can't do shit and being like. A total dork, yeah. and but even in the later episodes now, he's owning he, it now. Right. Yeah, he's owning. He's like he's playing badass. Yeah, and he's like, oh well, if I need protein, wh- like you know, like yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll call you or whatever. Like, yeah, I'll exactly. Call for you. Yeah. A recipe for a protein recipe shakes. For protein yeah. Shakes. yeah. <laughs> like I love that. Yeah. And then <laughs> when he talks to her, yeah, you notice how naive he is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that. Like that was me at fourteen. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> pretending to be sort of grown up and able to manage something. Exactly. And then you And know, then you have Mark who is like this total badass and just so confident in everything. everything. And like one being British or like fake British, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But, and but one being fine. like very American and it's yeah. just perfect and the way they do it. But but even if it's like a fake British accent or not, like it's not like in the Northman. For no, me. Like, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. it doesn't like Ooh, I don't know if that, you know, because there are some people that can do accents mm-hmm. and then there are some people that do accents and they're dog shit. You yeah. know, like it doesn't go well with their acting. Yeah. It becomes theatrical or like, you know, exactly weird. And uh, like speaking of accents, just to go like, I think so there is um, the one scene when he goes into like the I guess it's a black market or something to try and find yeah, out yeah, something yeah, yeah, about the thing. Yeah. He actually does speak in a very sort of New York, New Jersey accent. Mm-hmm. He's got like a cap on, so he looks a little bit different. So mm-hmm. I think that is actually third. the third dude that we yeah. kind of get hinted in the yeah, later yeah, yeah, episode. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Like, so, it was... like oh, I'm so like dude, I'm eager also to see very what's, excited about what's this. What's how many happen. people are in his psyche? Because yeah. I've always thought like there can't only be two. If there's no. two, there's more. and that, like I know because I've read some you of the comics. Of I bitch. own some of them, and they I really do love the character of Moon Knight because he is well, he's pretty much Batman, but the MCU but stabbier. version and kills <laughs> stabbier people than Batman so much like he's he is like... brutal and that's yeah and that's what I'm really like eager to see how they're gonna move because uh, well we'll see how well it's well gone. you know what it feels like as well the the sort of the phasing out and waking up and you know being backwards or on a no no fucking GTA you oh, know, when you switch yeah, yeah. characters, when you, you go switch to, to Trevor, Trevor. Yeah, 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 and you're like, I'm on a highway in my underwear, you know, on a... And who's and, this woman? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have, like, someone on your back, like, on the back of the Vespa, and they're, like, five stars, police chasing yeah. you. You're like, what? <laughs> How next, did we yeah, end up dude, here? Exactly. And the next time you're, like, you're waking up on a beach with, like, murdered MC, like, a motorcycle, like, a bike <laughs> gang around you, you're like, what? And that's I love what that. it feels yeah. like. In this, in the, yeah, exactly. Like in in Moon Knight, and then we'll see if they're gonna do flashbacks and we get to see the stuff, or if they're just gonna keep it this way. Yeah, like, I love that we don't get like over explained with everything too. But I feel that's what they've done marvelously with these uh, shows. <laughs> Marvelous, marvelously yeah, 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 yeah. unintentional, yeah, but yeah, very good. Nice. <laughs> 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 but I feel like they don't over explain it. I think no. the weakest one has been Falcon Winter Soldier. Falcon yeah. Soldier, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Falcon Soldier. Yeah. Uh, that one was so woke. Yeah. Like, annoyingly so. But yeah. I could, like, get past it mm-hmm. and watch it. And, and I did enjoy it because I love the Winter Soldier and I love the Falcon. Like, yeah, very good. Like, yeah, I love the character development the in there. Development. If you exactly. can see past, past all the other. All the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. This is what's happening in the world today. Yeah, proceed. Do better. Do better. Like, yeah, uh, but all that. how do I do? Like, tell me what to do. Can <laughs> we just stick to the plot? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, but but there, they have parts there that feel that they could have used. But yeah. once, 
Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. Yeah. They could have done that without doing it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. do it without bang. Yeah. On the nose. On the nose. So on the nose. Yeah. Yeah. But it, yeah. but it feels like we've said before like let's kick this dead horse one more time. Like let it's a transition phase. It is. Yeah. Everyone's going to get really sick and then, you know, we're going to go back to the new normal. Yeah. And that's going to be better. Hopefully. Yes. Yes. Or we'll see the end of uh, shows and television. Or Will Smith will go around and slap everyone. Yeah. And I would love to see that show. <laughs> that show would be fun. The slap show. <laughs> will Smith slaps everyone. <laughs> Just like a world tour. Slap attack. Slap. Slap from the block. <laughs> yeah, because apparently he can just slap anybody and not, you know, get away with it. So, like, that could be a show. Mm-hmm. But Big Willie style, we call it. <laughs> Going to Miami to slap somebody. Some- <laughs> <laughs> Miami, Miami. <laughs> no, oh, no. And moving on. Yeah. Yeah. Watch yeah. Moon Knight. Well, yeah, yeah. Now, do we have anything else to uh, um, talk about on the, on the on the moon and the night? No. I no. really enjoy it, and I would recommend everyone watch it. Yeah. I also r- just re-realized how much I love Ethan Hawke. Yes. He's so good. Dude, that opening, though. Like crushing the the glass thing and mm. putting it in the shoes, mm. that still sticks with me, <laughs> because every time I see him walk, yeah, you're my right. whole stomach just churns yeah. and like no. <laughs> but he's just like he should do more. He things. is such a freak, but mm. yeah, he's so good. He's really good. Yeah, um, and uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what like the development no, I just of the see, like uh, I, I, more of everything. More of it. Yeah, 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 for that show. But I also just want to, like, deep dive into Ethan Hawke. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Because he's Do done it. a lot of fun stuff as well. I don't think he's done, like, a single bad movie. Yeah. He the sh- only one that I haven't seen, oh, it's, uh, it's it, they did, like, a special project where they, um, they follow a, a young see. kid uh, for 10 years. What? So they, they shoot a movie for 10 years, like, to mm-hmm. really see him grow up like almost a Truman show yeah, I guess yeah, yeah, exactly that's so so familiar it's a really weird so that just kept on so he did movies while he was doing that but he had to come back to the character and be mm-hmm. that dad <laughs> and like have this kid grow up and stuff I I know I have it in my shelf but mm-hmm. I like it just feels like what's the, what's the point in watching this movie other than it being a really cool movie experiment you know that they actually signed off 10 years of their life for this movie. It's insane. But uh, other than that, I mean, like, he's done really... Oh, he's in Knives Out too. Oh, Very really? Very nice, yes. Cool. Uh, so beyond... Oh, wow, yeah, he was in Northmen. Yeah, he was dad. Mm-hmm. Daddy boy. But yeah. he... He, he like was probably the best part of the Northmen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, b- but, yeah, like... I really, really enjoyed his, like, in Moon Knight, though. Like, yeah. he's really good. And yeah. the stuff that I've seen with him is, like, he, he never underdelivers. You know, like, yeah. even if the movie isn't the best, Ethan Hawke is. Yeah, it's like, have you seen The Magnificent Seven? It's like a new take on uh, uh, Samurai, Seven Samurai. Mm, but with, it's so a familiar. Western, Denzel Washington, yeah, yeah, Chris yeah, Pratt. Yeah, 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 I've seen it, I've seen it. He is like the best part of that one too. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, that movie. He's was. an overhyped sort of sniper badass. But that, that one just is don't, again. He doesn't want to kill anybody. Yeah. He's so afraid mm-hmm. of killing, but he's he just kind of gets by as this badass anyways until the very end when mm-hmm. he sort of redeems himself. But the character development there, and, and you can just see the pain. And actually, I really enjoy that movie, although it doesn't really hold. It's a guilty uh, pleasure. It's a guilty pleasure movie. Yeah, yeah, it is. I've seen it multiple times. It's because it has cool, well, fun people yeah. in it, you know. And Chris then Pratt the, is yeah. always fun. Yeah. Denzel is always good. And then you have a guy throwing knives. That's you Dude, know, that's all I need. The guy yeah, yeah. Knives. yeah. It's so good. <laughs> you know, like, it's always yeah. like when I played like the first person shooters as a kid. When you played versus friends, oh, you man. always wanted knives. Knives always. Yeah, you were like, okay, everyone's gonna throw. The- I'm just gonna sneak up and just throw knives at them. <laughs> oh, was it Perfect Dark? Or- yeah, Perfect yeah. Dark and Golden Eye. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Best that best times. or proximity mines that stuck onto yes. people. Yes. Oh, like that was so sticky, good. Sticky, sticky mines. mines. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just like knives, knives, and then like bomb. <laughs> <laughs> 
I wish there were like sticky knives. Sticky, like, sticky oh, yeah. knives, yeah, with bombs in them. <laughs> sticky bomb knives. Sticky bomb knives. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really need them to be sticky. They're knives, but hey. And I actually, I saw V for Vendetta yesterday. It was on TV. Oh, dude. Uh, but uh, speaking, of, just speaking of knives and throwing knives, yeah. they act like they do some stuff that is kind of cheesy. But mm-hmm. looking at the choreography and the stuff that they did. It's kind of cool though. Like I, he's a really op badass. Badass, yeah. Uh, and I still love the design of the character. No, like, he's awesome. And, and uh, Hugo mm, Weaving is oh, always yeah, he, awesome. He's awesome. Yeah, he's always awesome. And he never ever shows his face. It's like pretty commendable, I mm-hmm. guess. And it's a great way to get by with doing really cool action things, but yeah, also have a really yeah. great actor because he's yeah, you get both. Mandalorian. Yeah. You know, you have so like good. three yeah. stunt guys and then pa- uh, Pedro. And Pedro Pascal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and just like perfect. And Natalie Portman. And then Natalie Portman. Still love you. Yeah. And the new Thor trailer. Oh, oh man. man, I'm so excited. Like, oh, my overly God. Really excited. Like, really going Guardians with Thor. And, Dude, and I just, yes. So, But I'm only going to see that teaser. Dude, I'm not going to look gonna at see anything, anything else. else. Anything. Neither am I. Because that one gave me. Everything I wanted, everything I didn't know I wanted, yep. and now I'm good. Yep. Like, I don't need to see any trailer. Which like, song I'm, was... Oh, yeah, uh, Sweet Child of Mine. Yeah. yeah yes. But, yes. dude, it is so good. Yeah. Like, that's a trailer. Yeah. Now, that's a trailer. It gives you everything without giving you anything. Exactly. And then Natalie Portman at the end there. Like, yeah. And she looks perfect. She's so good. <laughs> I'm so in love with Natalie Portman again. <laughs> I've always been. Oh, no, but that's what I'm saying. Like, Natalie Portman... Did you and, know that I know... Or kind of have, you know, the, the degrees of bacon, whatever. Uh, Kevin Bacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, there's this six degrees thing, you know, okay. where it's like you have, I think it's like six steps uh, of knowing kind of everybody on the planet. Oh, like, okay. So like yeah, 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 you yeah, should yeah. know somebody that knows, that blah, knows blah, blah. somebody. Okay, okay. And I have, so uh, my, my old mentor, Marcus, his brother, I think, is married to Natalie Portman or something. What? He's like this opera conductor or singer or something in Paris. Uh, maybe not brother, or, but yeah, yeah, r- yeah. relative. But I get it. Yeah, but yeah. Somehow. Maybe cousin. Maybe something, something Natalie Portman. But yeah, yeah. he's actually met Natalie Portman a couple of times. <laughs> my, my I don't friends. think I, I can meet Natalie Portman. So that's why. Like, why did he have to go kill himself? Seriously, you could have at least introduced me to Natalie before you killed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. God damn it, Marcus. Uh-huh. So, dark. <laughs> so, so dark. dark. Yeah. No, it's okay to talk to, uh, talk about. No, yeah, yeah. No, because super sad. Portman. Super duper yeah. sad. But uh, fucking, yes. Oh, Natalie. Yes, yeah. yes. And so good. No, yeah. she's awesome. That's the thing. Like, she's not only like Beautiful. gorgeous. No. She is really good. Mm. And super duper smart, too, which is commendable. Like, she has a <laughs> psychology degree and all that stuff actually went to college and did the hard work mm-hmm. even though being super duper mega famous super duper famous yeah yeah i would not have done any of that no i, I didn't and i was super duper not rich See? there you go <laughs> 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 but uh but yeah so a lot of fun stuff to look mm-hmm. forward to i also saw that they released like a new trailer for dr strange that was on tv I have not so seen. I, I had to like shut my no, eyes and but, I was well, like, I'm not... but i have but i have tickets for us yes on yes. the premiere we're yes. good so so excited mm-hmm. only like two weeks left or something yep it's insane so good so good so fucking good yes and i haven't watched anything good like i've seen whatever they released ages ago Mm -hmm. that's what i've seen same i don't remember what that was like i don't remember anything from this movie no and uh, immediately when it started on television Mm. it was kind of uh, spoilers directly so stay away from the fucking trailers did you stay away when i think of dr strange i either see spider-man yeah like the movie or the cartoon the what if. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's all I'm seeing. Like, yeah. I can't for the life of me think what I've seen from this new movie. Yeah. Like, okay, nothing good. comes to mind. Yeah. I and, only see the sort of the dark Doctor Strange. Yeah. Um, no. I see I see it, but I see the cartoon one. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I was like, but I've seen. Have I seen? <laughs> like, maybe I haven't even seen the trailer. And I, I rewatched Spider-Man also. I don't know if I said that. No, maybe you didn't. Did. Yeah. But, uh, but it, it was a lot better the second time. I thought. 
Really? But yeah, yeah. Even with the fan jerking. Even with that. Very yes. fun. Like just Very. because th- there was so much going on uh, when you saw it the first time, also on cinema. So yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. there's so much to sort of try to grasp. So seeing it again really let it sink in. I think still they they botch a couple of things, they and it is not things, yeah. at all like one of my favorite Spider-Man mm-hmm. movie, but. When you do get to the Andrew Garfields and all of that stuff, it's just like straight to the heart, and mm. it's like and it still works. Like it, it works doesn't fall apart better okay. <laughs> because you really understand. And mm. and I've really seen a lot of interviews with them afterwards. Okay, and so like, you've really so you down just that, yeah, it's uh, it's great. And they have a lot of good extra stuff on mm. the DVD. So. Uh, really enjoyed it. Just and, as uh, you said, DVD makes you sound like such sorry, a boomer. It was now. a it was a Blu-ray. It was a bl- yeah, it was <laughs> such yeah. a boom. Yeah, steel box, baby, yeah, steel box. Oh yeah, DVD. Boom. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Have we talked Her. enough? Or what? Yeah, I think we've talked enough. Yeah. How long have we talked for? Not not long enough. Not apparently. long enough. I'm yeah. sorry, Thomas, but I have nothing else. There you go. Unless you want me to talk about more work. Just uh, I recommend it going back. It feels like we've talked forever. Yes. Right. Like, I don't know. It always does. Yeah. It does. It does. <laughs> uh, we're so boring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so tired. I just want to yes. go home. No, but let's just go home. Let's just it's go super home. early, and we were really good at the darts today, so. Yeah. So hopefully that's going to be a thing now, too, so we yeah, can exactly. actually go home. And everything hurts. Too. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah, it does. Everybody hurts sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I rushed it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys, Thank for, you for listening. listening. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> And uh, let us know what you thought about the stuff and the stuff, and, and stuff nobody and ever does. Yeah. And, uh, Natalie Portman, woo! <laughs> <laughs>